in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A smile's not a smile till it wrinkles your face. A bell's not a bell without ringing. A home's not a home when there's nobody there. A song's not a song. Isn't love till you give it away? Love isn't love till it's free. The love in your heart. For our good night message on this Sunday, the 12th of February 2023, broadcasting from the Salesian community of the Sacred Heart in Lusaka, Zambia, by your servant, Father Eustace Siame. A selection of Don Bosco will listen to this touching story on kindness entitled The Teacher's Hand. You might think love is a treasure to keep, a feeling to cherish and hold. But love is a treasure for people to share. Thanksgiving Day was near. The first grade teacher gave her class a fun assignment to draw a picture of something for which they were thankful. Most of the class might be considered economically disadvantaged, but still many would celebrate the holiday with turkey and other traditional goodies of the season. These, the teacher thought, would be the subjects of most of her students' art. And they were. But Douglas made a different kind of picture. Douglas was a different kind of a boy. He was the teacher's true child of misery, frail and unhappy. As other children played at recess, Douglas was likely to stand close by her side. One could only guess at the pain Douglas felt behind those sad eyes. Yes, His picture was different. When asked to draw a picture of something for which he was thankful, he drew a hand. Nothing else, just an empty hand. His abstract image captured the imagination of his peers. Whose hand could it be? One child guessed it was the hand of a farmer because farmers raised turkeys. Another suggested a police officer because the police protect and care for people. Still, others guessed it was the hand of God, for God feeds us. And so the discussion went, until the teacher almost forgot the young artist himself. When the children had gone on to other assignments, she paused at Douglas' desk, bent down and asked him whose hand it was. The little boy looked away and muttered, It's yours, teacher. She recalled the times she had taken his hands and walked with him here or there, as she had the other students. How often had she said, Take my hand, Douglas. We will go outside. Or, Let me show you how to hold your pencil. Or, Let's do this together. Douglas was most thankful for his teacher's hand. Brushing aside a tear, she went on with her work. This story speaks of more than thankfulness. It says something about teachers teaching and parents parenting and friends showing friendship. And how much it means to the Douglases of this world. They might not always say thanks, but they will remember the hand that reaches out. Keep reaching out because you may help pull someone out of darkness and guide them into the light. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, Acid Dreams. 
same to you, Father. You might think love is a treasure to keep, a feeling to cherish and hold. But love is a treasure for people to share. You keep it by. Isn't love till you give it away? Love isn't love till it's free. Love in you. 